Have you seen my last video where I show you two very frugal and delicious meals? If you haven't, I'm going to leave the link in the description below. Go and check it out. You're going to love it. But let me show you what I'm going to be showing you today. Yes, masa harina is not only for salty uh, recipes, it's for sweets too. And welcome back, I'm Gabby Santana and you're here in Mexico cooking with Gabby. If you haven't subscribed, go and do it. Go, 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 go and subscribe. Watch the video, give thumbs up, and let's start. Okay, so we have eggs, pecans or walnuts, totally optional, but we love it. Carrots, sugar, you could use uh, brown sugar if you like, oil. Cinnamon, salt, baking powder, vanilla, and masa harina. Let so me show you this things. recipe is very important that you use your mixer. This recipe you cannot do it by hand. Um, and the reason for that is what's happened with the masa harina. I already tried it because I wanted to tell you if you could do it or not. So this is really a must for your mixer. So we're gonna start with sugar. with X, oh, hold on. I see a little eggshell here. We don't want that. Okay. And oil. And we're going to mix it up very well. You're gonna mix it for maybe two minutes. Once this is done, we're going to add our carrots. My spices. Let's mix it up again. And I'm going to start adding my masa harina, but very in small portions. And my last thing is gonna be my, this is totally optional, but we love it. This is ready. Okay, these muffins, different from the, to the other ones, is that they need to be all the way to the top. They're not going to grow up. Um, even though we put baking powder, it's just helping us to cook what is inside very well. Um, but basically, that's going to be the size of your muffins. So, let's put it in the oven. 350 uh, Fahrenheit, 20 minutes. 18 to 20 minutes. Hey guys, I have to show you something. Do you see how the... The dough, it's more like creamy than the one before. Let me. So I was freaking out because they did not um, ended up like my first time that I did. And I was like, oh my gosh, even my daughter was waiting for them to take them to school. She was like, oh my gosh, mom, these are disgusting. They're not the, the ones that you, you made. So, but I find out why. I was like, oh my gosh, no. Like I created this recipe. We made it three times and it was delicious. My mistake was that I did took notes about the measurements that I was using, but another procedure. So, you have to mix only the sugar and um, egg, okay? 
and they're 3x. So mix it up until well combined, then add the carrots, mix it up a little bit, and then add your um, cinnamon and baking powder, um, and then add the masa harina, mix it up a little bit, don't mix it too much, and then just to combine, and then at the end, the three fourths cups of oil. Mix it up, and look, they look way better than the first one, so, whoopsie. Do as I said, not as I did, right? This time only, this time only, guys. So I'm gonna show you the final product. I promise these are so good. They don't, you don't even taste that they're with masarina, believe me, believe me. And my daughter was like, mom, in this that you made, I can taste it and I like that. So I was like, oh my gosh. So I made them again, trying to find my mistake and I did. Woohoo! Let's keep watching. Okay, these are the ingredients that we're going to be using for our delicious uh, pancake pancakes so I'm using um, an orange just to give like a little more taste definitely you can do lime if you want to add some blueberries on top I think lime and blueberries are the best combination but today I'm gonna go I'm gonna just keep it simple I sorry I was forgetting the milk milk we need milk so this is gonna be very simple and quick uh, you get from this recipe approximately, approximately um, maybe 12 and um, this, these pancakes because it's gluten free, masarina is gluten free, they don't expand, they don't get bigger, they're very thin but very delicious. So I'm going to start with my masarina my sugar, my baking powder, mix it up, let's add the egg, you do need an egg, I'm going to start adding my milk, Okay, so one, once this is ready, I'm adding my butter. You could use, you can use uh, oil as well, but butter gives a flavor. So we want that. And last but not least, I'm adding my orange. Uh, let's do it. No, it's done. It's done. Okay, let me get. Ooh. Okay. Just mix it up and this is ready. Let's go and do it now. Um, the more you let it sit, the more it's going to absorb the milk. And you may have to add a little more later if you don't do this kind of fast. But. It's gonna be delicious. Let's go to the stove. My pan is hot. I'm just going to use a little bit of butter. And let's do this. And look at this. And as I told, I mentioned before, these are very thin uh, pancake pancakes. They're really good. 
and really, really good. Whew, we did it. I hope you enjoyed these two easy breakfast recipes using masarina. If you haven't watched the last video, I will leave the link in the description below. Thank you so much for watching my video. We'll see you next time. Bye.